Good day everyone, welcome back to my Dr. M. Balmer channel. Um, today uh, I want to look at a, a pretty interesting little flashlight thing. It's been a while since my last video and um, I've been very busy basically so. But uh, this thing arrived uh, the other day and um, I thought that we should have a look at it because it seems to be a very multifunctional little light. And it says, uh, let's see here, carb rechargeable keychain light. Um, we have micro USB charging, a bottle opener, of all things, <laughs> bottle opener, uh, mini size. Yeah. Um, Let's see here if we have something behind this label. Oh yeah. We most certainly have. Strong magnet. We have a hook and we have the actual floodlight. Um also should not be used by children under six years old without adult supervision so yeah let's uh, open it up shall we we get a small usb micro usb no actually it's not hey it's a USB-C lead, as a matter of fact. Even though it said micro USB charging. Great. We we'll also get some sort of a manual. Uh, we do have English. It says six watts ship on board. Aluminium and um, 500 milliamp rechargeable cell. And we have different lighting modes. We have 60% uh, brightness, 30% brightness, strobe, and then we can long press the button to get the brightest mode. Yeah. Red LED light, charging green LED, fully charged. Do not look directly into the cob light. Okay. Then we have uh, some Chinese, perhaps, and uh, yeah. All right. So let's have a look. Um. Yeah, very interesting form factor. Um, here's the carbine hook. So we can attach it to something. We have the bottle opener here. I unfortunately don't have any bottle to test it on. Uh, let's see here, we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So 30 chips on this comb. We have a strong magnet, it says. That one we can test. Um, let's see if I have something. This one, perhaps. Yeah, it's f it's strong enough to hold its own weight, and that's perhaps everything you need. Um, we can unfold a little thing here, so we can we can hang it somewhere. We can also use it to make it stand on its own. 
it's a bit wobbly I have to admit perhaps if you put it like this instead yeah then it's not wobbly and uh, let's see here we have the power button oh wait oh it just broke um, <laughs> hang on a minute I shall see what fell off All right I found it this little metallic rod fell off so it's supposed to go through here let's see if I can yeah align it so let's see here it doesn't want to go all the way through perhaps from the other side Perhaps it's it's not exactly straight. Yeah, no. Well, I suppose it can f fall off again, right? Um. Okay. Great. Well, so I don't know about the quality of this mechanism in particular, perhaps. I put it the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, nevertheless, still works. Um, another feature I found was that there is a um, little hole here. Uh, which I believe is um, for mounting it on a tripod. So let me just get a tripod. I have one. A nice blue one. And we should be able to Screw it on there. Okay. Right. Great. Um, we have a um, charge port, and indeed it is um, USB Type C. Uh, but okay, let's turn it on. I just make a single short press. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a fair amount of light, actually. Yeah. Can have a look. I don't see any strobing effect, so... If I press the one more time... This is the... What was it? 30% mode? Yeah. 
thirty percent, and it's uh, it should also strobe. Oh yeah, and then off. And if we hold it for a long time, we should get a hundred percent light. Yeah, this is even brighter. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, very handy actually. And um, if we single press it, yeah, we turn it off. So, I don't know, I, I'm very fond of this little light actually. Um, I mean, apart from the apparent quality issue we had here, this hook thing. Um, I mean, the casing is uh, pretty nice. And it's a large chip, it gives plenty of light. And um, you can attach it to a tripod. You can let it stand on its own. You can hook it on to something. Yeah, even get a bottle of bottle opener. Um, so let's, um, yeah. Yeah, pretty neat actually, simple enough, but with many applications. And uh, let's try to charge it with the supplied lead. I mean, it's kind of thin, but I suppose ultimately, if this cell is 500 milliamps, you wouldn't want to charge it faster than at 500 milliamps. So let's bring in this power bank, which can show us the charging rate current. And let's plug it in. Okay. And uh, turn it on. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, steadily charging it, or discharging this power bank at a hundred milliamps. And we do have a red light here, so it is probably charging. I don't know how full the battery cell is in the little floodlight, but uh, Yeah, now we're not down to 90 or 100 milliamps. So, if it actually is a 500 milliamp cell, then charging at 100 milliamps or 90 milliamps is probably very good. It won't destroy the cell too too fast. But I, I don't know if, if this um, cell is close to being fully charged or not charge or not so yeah all right and can we use it while we charge it let's try that yeah we can and what does it show then 150 140 milliamps 160 and if we lower it to 30 percent down to 120 Strobe, 140, off, we're back to 110 now, yeah, and if we put maximum light, 170, 180, yeah, actually very nice. So, yeah, great little light. I mean, 
just hooking it onto your whatever your garage or basement or on a tripod you know uh, if you're doing some soldering or any other kind of work where you have a work surface that you want some extra light on um, just bring it with you I mean it's pretty nice actually I like it I must say one thing though uh, and I find this uh, issue pretty often actually on this um, on LED products of all kinds that you have this um, strobing mode this one the annoying one yeah <laughs> I mean I don't know I don't usually use strobe but on an item like this I would much prefer that the strobing mode would have been replaced by say an SOS mode right because if you bring it with you and you're you get stuck somewhere you get lost somewhere you need to need to create an SOS signal then you could just hang it in a tree or put it standing somewhere and just turn on the SOS mode and it would do its thing all night or however long the battery lasts so that's basically one of the major downsides I mean they have made light with, which includes a lot of features in a small form factor and it's easy to easy to bring it along and it puts out decent amount of light it's lightweight um, but the strobing I don't know I personally would have programmed it to send an SOS signal instead of the strobing mode just saying um, so let's see here yeah we're still at a hundred milliamps so yeah I'll put a link to this uh, and they are reasonably bit cheap I bought this on Aliexpress for one dollar ninety nine cents when I bought three items sim at one time in sort of a deal but then also I fa found them um, you can get five of these um, for around was it 12 13 dollars so they're pretty cheap I mean you, you do get a pretty decent thing and as long as it doesn't break uh, and if the cell is somewhere near 500 milliamps it's a pretty good deal actually so yeah pretty nice actually pretty nice and I do like the the possibility to attach it to um, like a standard tripod and uh, yeah it, it just becomes easy to get some extra light where you need so yeah great thank you for watching and uh, check this out on Aliexpress or I suppose there should be available on Amazon and eBay as well so I will post a link to Aliexpress so have a look thank you for watching let's see you in the next one